Greetings friends, welcome to A Shot of Code. Today we're looking at creating a web component using Preact X. Now this follows on from a video I did recently with React, I've got a link to that here if you're interested. Uh, problem with that one was it ended up with a very big bundle size. Preact X should be a lot better. Now before we jump in, if you find yourself enjoying this video, feel free to click that subscribe and alert bell icon below and you get updates of future videos. That said, Visual Studio Code here, I'm going to create a very simple counter component and straight away have it as a web component in Preact uh, X. So, first thing I want to do is create an index.html and have some boilerplate code there. And then we'll have a script in here and we'll specify our source as main.js. And it's going to be a counter component, so my counter with a hyphen. We just need a, a hyphen for custom elements. So main.js, what do we need? Um, I'm going to use Passel to help us bring this stuff in. So I'm going to Passel index.html. That'll monitor there and add our imports as we go. So we need component and uh, HTML, and that's from HTM Preact. And we also need to bring in Preact. And then to wrap this one, this is another scenario where we take a normal Preact component and then we wrap it with uh, another component, and that is the one we pass to color system elements define. So in this case, we're going to be using um, Preact. Actually, it exports create custom element, and it's from the package uh, at WCD Preact custom element, like so. And if we save that, all of those packages should now be in our package JSON. And there they are. Thanks, Parcel. Right. We'll create our class now. And it's going to be my counter, which extends component. We'll have a constructor. And we'll set up our state in here after calling super. So we say this dot uh, state equals an object with just a uh, count on that starts at zero. And then we'll have a render function. Let me just take that away so we can have it a little bit bigger for the moment. We have a render function and in there we're going to return our tag template literal HTML. So this is our Preact X component. And let's just have a button on here to say up for our counter. It's not the best counter in the world. It's not even going to have a down. It's just going to have an up. And in our span, we'll want to put out um, our count, which is going to be this dot state dot count. That should be good. Put that there. Um, we need on our button, we're going to need to link this up. So we have an on click, and that will call uh, this dot ink, just like that, I think. Yeah, that looks good. So let's create an ink method, and in there we're going to call uh, this dot set state, and it'll pass in the previous state. And we are going to want to return a new object. So if I do brackets, and then the new object is going to be um, uh, this dot, no, it's just going to be count, and it's going to be prev dot count plus one. All right, save that off. Got to make it smaller because I'm going to be able to see all the code there. Okay. That's pretty good. Now to display 
we just need to call our normal custom elements dot define and we pass in our custom element name and then rather than just passing in this class marking mark counter we're going to wrap it with create custom element and we're going to pass in our counter there and then also a name for it so we'll just say counter like so so there's our call with uh this is a, this is the important bit the create custom element and we pass in our class and a name and that create custom element came from this package here that you can get on npm um, preact custom element so that does all the heavy lifting for us all right that should be good if we have a look on um, if I grab one here and we just bring that over there and go like so. Okay, we can see um, we see our text coming up and our button and our button isn't quite connected right. Let me just have a quick look at the button. Ah, these are being declared. Uh, to get the this method to work, these are being declared as locals. I can probably do um, something like that just to get that connected up. See if that works. Yep, so that's connected. Um, so you could declare this as a private field. Uh, but we'd need to set up parcel correctly for that. So we just need to add this bind here to make sure this has got the correct value. So that's working there. Um, so that is our component. Um, it's always, I always like to just show at least properties working as well. So let's go on to here and add a name property. Like so. And we should be able to add in here um, and interpolate in this dot props dot name and there we go a shot of code coming up in there as well so properties are working we've got internal events working let's look quickly at what it's created that's the wrong key um, so if we look in here we've got a my counter component it's got a shadow root, unlike the React one, which was just plain HTML. This is using Shadow DOM uh, in there. And I'll just maximize this out so we can look on the network. And so at the moment, it's 30K, but that's the debug version. So if I come in here and do a parcel build main.js, what we should see is we're getting that down to 15k but then when you gzip that as well you're going to be looking at about 4k so pretty good size not as good as something like um, stencil or svelte which are really good uh, i've got a, a link to, to both of those here if you're interested in those videos um, but yeah pretty pretty good and if you're in the react world then this is certainly a, a very good option uh, there you go web component in preact hope that was interesting give me a thumbs up if you liked it thumbs down if you didn't uh, remember to subscribe if you want to see future videos and i'll see you next time bye